My childhood memories are made of places like these. And perhaps it is those memories that make me so enjoy going back to Serbia. Lush and vast countrysides are something that I hold very dear to my heart. I recently came back from Serbia after visiting our family home and spending time with family and friends. I was amazed how powerful our childhood memories are. In no time, I was drawn back to orchards where apples, walnuts, pears and many other fruits grow. Fruit trees and orchards are my happy places. This is the place where my love for nature and the natural food comes together. I was very lucky to grow up on a large family farm where I learned how to live close to nature. Our family produced all our food, including dairy products. Life on our farm has changed quite a bit in the last 35 years, but some things are still just as much fun as they used to be. Milking cows by hand is almost lost art. Even my sister-in-law uses the machine to milk the cows. When I was just 10 years old, I used to milk four cows by hand. It's been 35 years since then, and I'm wondering if I can still do it. So here we go, and let's see if I still got it. As a child, I would think of cows as my pets, yet today I'm standing in front of my opponent, a bit scared and wondering if I can go through with this. Cows were brought in for milking, and before we start, my sister-in-law suggested that we first feed them. Animals were definitely noticing a stranger in a barn, and my mother's sheep was very vocal about it. Luckily for me, treats have helped everyone to settle down. And now, with peace and quiet, it was time to get back to the milking. My sister-in-law was amusing herself by introducing to me special wardrobe for this occasion. Manure covered boots are not the most fashionable thing, but they sure make the statement. This is a part of milking cows. <laughs> it's been 35 years since I milked the cow and I have to say I'm nervous. The cow is big and it doesn't look very friendly, but I want to prove it to myself and to you that once you know how to milk the cow, you know it for the life. Okay. I know. As confident as I wanted to appear, I have to admit I was quite a bit nervous. Milking cow was not a problem. It was that big, powerful leg that could have swing at me if I do it wrong. <laughs> I gotta gear up, gear up for this. Gotta make sure my hair is out of the way. Okay. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> My chair. They're trying to tell me that this manure covered thing is perfectly fine. I have a little cushion at the top, and let's see how this works. <laughs> challenging me with this. She said, if you're gonna milk her, you have to tie her tail. Um, it's been a long time and... Oh, okay, I got the tail. Okay. And... Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, I can't believe it. Good girl, no. Oh, her tail is moving. <laughs> and this stick is not gonna work. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Oh, okay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm embarrassed to admit that I'm a bit nervous. I'm trembling just a little bit. All right. Okay. Good. good girl. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. <laughs> All right. Mid. My hair will smell really good after this. Okay. Okay. This is one big and powerful animal, and I certainly don't want to upset it. Yet I had to figure out the way how to keep her tail still. 
considering mine and a cow's nervousness, it's gonna take us a minute to get the milk to flow. Easy does it. I hope that in a minute, a cow will realize I'm friendly enough and will decide to share her milk with me. It takes a little time for cow to let the milk down. And uh, a cow needs to relax. You need to make sure that you're not hurting her. Come on, girl. See that um, her breast is getting bigger. And if she's eating and relaxing, eventually the milk will start coming. Oh, this is fun. Oh, I think milk is slowly coming down. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. And it looks like I have not forgotten how to do it. It just feels really good. The warm body of the animal, the fresh milk, smell of hay. Good girl. I guess I was not doing this right. My sister-in-law is showing me how to do it and apparently I have lost the touch. All right. And while she is no longer milking cows by hand, her skills are much better than mine. But I was not ready to give up yet. And despite the cow's impatience with me and her swinging her tail at my face, I was gonna keep trying. On the end, persistence paid off. It looks like I still get it after 35 years. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. I might not have enough milk to make a cheese, but I certainly have enough for my coffee in the morning. <laughs> it's easy to see that I'm a bit clumsy following these old footsteps, but overall, these boots and this lifestyle fits me just fine. Thank you all for watching and until the next time, keep it simple, keep it true, and hold on to child in you.